hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is omoyera olua tosin and if this is your first time of stopping by please support me by clicking on the subscription button and also on the notification bell so that once i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to get the notification on the channel today i'll be teaching you how to cut this kimono dress it is going to be like a cut and sew with me tutorial without further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial and these are the measurements needed for this tutorial this is the beautiful fabric we'll be working with the next thing you want to make sure is the shoulder to around the nail measurement where you want your fringe to start from the fringe i'll be working with is 20 inches so i man minus 20 inches from the full length of my um, client's dress the rest is for the upper part of this dress so i folded my fabric and at this point i knew i was doing the wrong thing because i remember that my client said she want a zip at the center back of her dress so i don't want my dress to have a seam line on the shoulder now the dress is going to have a seam line on the shoulder that's why i'm cutting to have two separate pieces so i'm going to fold the front and back separately so that we have a zipper at the center back of this dress i place the foot on the back and hold the zipper allowance after that this is what you should have the next thing you want to do you want to measure the full gown length minus the fringe allowance so i have 42 and i added one inch for sewing allowance for stitching the shoulder line and the hem line to the fringe on the shoulder line i mark my nip to sleeve measurement minus three inches because i'm going to have, add a curve the black curve that we have around the sleeve of the clothes i mark my um half length which is the full front length my hip line and my waist line so the width i'm working with is four inches and i'm marking one inches from that uh sleeve um length and connect it to my neck width so now i'm going to mark the arm o my arm o the sleeve um the width is going to be 12 inches i've added um, my seam allowance so on that part where you mark your arm o, you are going to mark quarter of your bust measurements plus one inches is and one inches for seam allowance that means you're adding extra two inches on the waistline you mark quarter of your waist measurement plus one inch for ease and one inch for swing allowance you pay the same thing for the hip line quarter of your hip measurements one inch for ease and one inch for swing allowance because you want this dress to be close fitted on you and on the m line you want to mark quarter of your hip measurement plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance as well so after i've done that i'm going to use my pattern master to connect all my points together so now i'm going to connect the balls to the sleeve after drawing my sleeve i'm going to connect the balls to the sleeve and curve that part so that you have that kimono details around the sleeve so now for the back neck depth i did one and a half inches from the front neck depth i did seven inches so the next thing i want to do i want to take my scissors and cut out my pattern i start with the back neck depth the slants from the hip line i cut up to the sleeve and this is what you should have at the end of the day and we are going to call the front neck depth it's going to be a v so that's what we have you can see what we have now so i'm going to set this aside you can see how beautiful the pattern came out that straight line you are seeing is the zipper part so that's all so let's set this aside and work on the pocket that this kimono dress is going to have on the waistline i'm going to 
notch that point that's where my pocket will start from from the waistline i measure six inches into the seam line that is the width of the pocket i'm going to notch that part as well so now i've notched our pocket width the next thing you want to do you want to cut your pocket so what i did i cut seven inches against 14 inches that is the width and length of the pocket seven inches against 14 inches you can do 13 inches but for this client dress i did 14 inches you can actually design yours uh, pocket by curving the bottom parts i just like mine to be straight so i'm just trying to get the two um part that we add into the left and right side of the um dress so that's that the next thing you want to do you want to cut your facing for the back the back is going to have a facing and that's what i'm doing right now so i just folded the remaining fabric that i have i folded it and i use i placed the dress on it the back pattern of our dress on it and cut the neckline so the length of this facing is going to be four inches you can work with two inches three inches you can do more depending on what you want so now that our facing is ready the next thing you want to cut is the curve that goes round the sleeve. So now to cut this, you need to have a crepe or you have a dorsets, a door face, depending on the kind of fabric that you want to work with. What I have here is a shiny crepe. It is a, a leftover for my previous project. So now I'm going to mark six inches. I'm making sure that the length is uh, uh, my sleeve, one sleeve measurements plus the sewing allowance. Once I was sure that I have enough, I marked six inches for the width, and the length is going to be your round sleeve measurement plus sewing allowance. So after I was sure that uh, I was okay with what I have, I'm going to make sure I cut a straight strap that goes around the sleeve so that's that i'm going to set this aside just make sure that what i have is okay so i'm going to set this aside and work on the design that we have on the neck line if you notice there's a curve details around the neckline and that is what i'm going to cut next there's a different way to cut these details you can use you can cut it in form of a placket and you can follow the step that i'm using in this video i just folded my fabric and placed my cutout pattern on it so you are going to cut this using the shape of the neckline to get the neck details i'm just trying to paint to make sure that my pattern is relaxed on it you can see what i did i cut it following the shape of the neckline after that i'm just going to use my marker pattern master to create the neck details if you notice in the video the parts where we have the black details the cuff the black cuff detail it's as if it's standing out what you need to iron on your fabric is a stay now i'm going to use a stay to get that details on the curve you are going to add iron and add stay to it to give you that um structure that the sleeve is having at this point one of my students was trying to use the table as well on this detail to i'm going to add add net again to the uh, neckline piece as well so i'll take it to my iron table and iron it very well before i stitch it on the neckline of the dress for the facing please add an interfacing to the wrong side 
the uh, face that will be at the back then you take it to your weaving machine and you are going to weave now this is the back piece i've sewn the center back with a loose stitch and i give it a nice press the next thing i want to do is um i want to sew my zip and add a facing to the center back in between i was teaching i was attending to my students because i had to sew this so in between i left my i left what i was doing and was attending to my student now you are going to add a zip to the center back and use the uh, facing to conceal the zip so i'm going to sew it and bring it back for you guys to see at the end of the day this was the center back of your dress should be looking like next you want to pin the shoulder to shoulder and side seam to side seam before you take it to your iron table and stitch them together make sure you pin right side to right side and that's all now this is me putting on my piece together i'm trying to sew the shoulder line of my dress after i was done with the shoulder line i sewed the side seam and i added my cuff to this dress before taking it to my weaving machine and which weave where necessary now after i was done weaving i took it back to my straight sewing machine that is my industrial machine i took it back and add the fringe details after adding the fringe details i took it to my iron table and gave it a nice press so i will show you how the dress turned out once again my name is omoyera olua tosin and if this is your first time of stopping by please don't forget to click on the subscription button and also on the notification bell so that once i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to get the notification and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms have a nice day and bye